Oh, I think I deserve a beer, right? There is something for everyone this week at the 8th annual Sour Fruit Fest. We have Cascade Brewing here to kick it all off. Not only do we have beer, fruit beer, we have actual fruit that goes in the beer. So Grant Ritchie, the general manager of Cascade Brewing Barrel House, you guys are definitely professionals when it comes to making sour beers. Like, I love sour beers, and if I think, where could I go to have a sour beer? How many do you guys have on tap all the time? We usually have 30 on tap at the Barrel House and 24 yeah, at couple. the Lodge. Yep. That's amazing. So what happens at the uh, Sour Fruit Fest? So we basically pick some of our favorite fruit beers that we've done all year long, and we bring them out over the course of Wednesday through Sunday at both our locations. So it's a chance to try some of our favorites for that whole year period, and some even older. So what kinds did you bring here? Are these actually the types of fruits that went into well, the beer? Well, that's the thing. You know, this time of year, it's really tough to get local fresh fruit. Yeah. So this is a representation, but all our beers pretty much have the fresh fruit we can get from the area all year long. Wow. So today I brought you three beers, uh, Vitis Melonius, Creme de Pêche, and Honey Ginger Lime. They all sound very fun to say, and the only one that I know what's in it, based on what you said, is Honey Ginger Lime. So we also have Amanda and Jay. Are you also taste testing? No, you're sure. Yeah. Okay, why not? Do you like sour beers? Amanda, yes. you're a big fan? I was so excited. Sour beers are my favorite, and I always go to Cascade if I want one. Oh, that's yes. great. They are my favorite. We know, so Zach, I'm sorry your hands are full operating the camera. Um, you can taste them in the commercial break or something. So what should we try first? Great. So start with the Vitis Melonius. That's the one there on the left. That's uh, the lightest of them all. The so, lightest? Yep, and okay. those are grouped mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And so that's uh, Chardonnay grapes, and then cantaloupe and summer kiss melons. Thank you. Really nice. Uh, so it's, yeah, so it's cantaloupe, summer kiss melons, and Chardonnay grapes on a barrel aged Blondale. Wow. Oh. That's Isn't so that fancy. Nice? Really okay, yeah, yeah. Super nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so then the, next. the second one is creme de peche, and so that's peaches. bourbon, peaches, vanilla beans, bourbon barrel aged. Bourbon? Mm hmm. What? Peaches and bourbon? Yeah. That's this one? Yep. In the middle? Mm hmm. Okay. Oh my gosh. Does it actually taste like bourbon? Just a, just a hint. I can kind of smell the bourbon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's good. Wow. Yeah. Definitely sour, which is great, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. Okay. All right. And last but not least, honey ginger lime. What'd you guys think of the creme de peche really you said it was called? It. Yeah. Honey ginger oh, lime. I'm excited about the ginger in this one. Yeah, this is our best seller in the summer. Oh, yeah. So, like, so, how much ginger do you put? So, into the fun it? story about this so, we use candied ginger in the barrel aging process, and then towards the end, they do fresh grated ginger, lime zest, and a wildflower honey addition from Be Local. <gasps> That, yeah. yeah, what do you think? Can you taste the, the ginger? The ginger is really good, and the honey. Yeah, yeah that's really good. Good balance yeah. to it. Yeah. This one, yeah. if someone, I think if someone is afraid of sour beers, because sometimes people are afraid of sour they beers, are. this one might be a good entry level one because yeah. it's a little sweeter than sour, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. not super sour. Yeah, and the first one, if you're more of a wine fan, it definitely has that touch to it. So. Yeah. And the middle one, if you're a bourbon fan <laughs> yes. or a sour beer all, fan. All bases There's covered. One for everybody. Yes. So people can go to two different locations yes. to go to the sour fruit Yeah, fest. the lodge in Raleigh Hills and the barrel house at 10th and Belmont in East Portland. And no, no charge for cover. Uh, just come on in. Just pay by the taste or the glass and all ages. Amazing. Yes. All ages. So even 21 and yeah. older to drink. <laughs> hey, right, exactly. Exactly. But if you can bring your kids, you can bring anyone. Totally, yeah. Check it out at cascadebrewing.com. And you guys, how long have you been making sour beers? Uh, really we started about 2005 doing the sour program. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Amanda, have you ever, when you said you go to Cascade when yes. you want one, have you had a favorite flavor of sour beer that you I had do there? always like the bourbon aged ones mm -hmm. and then the apricot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Yeah. I have yep. to say my favorite from Cascade is not a sour, it's oh. the out. Oh, yeah. The Bruise of a Feather. Yeah. Yeah. yeah nice one. Uh, we uh, partner with uh, Stumptown for that one. Oh. Basically the opposite oblique. of a sour. Yeah. It used to be oblique. Ah. Stumptown now. Wow. Okay, so again, you said how many on tap every single day at the Sour Fruit So Fest? at least 20 fruit beers on each day. And then wow. we'll rotate those through as they run out. And there's some guaranteed ones uh, each day. So follow our social media sites and you can see the guaranteed ones for each day. And then others will, will go on as they run out. Oh, yeah. Special okay. ones. Amazing. Well, thank yeah. you so much. Thank you for having Cheers me. Cheers to the Sour Fruit Fest. I can't decide. I think the, the creme de peche all right. is my favorite That's one. That's your favorite? But they're all delicious. Hey. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers.